Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, we have the lovely Michelle Fabrica, our love and relationship coach, with Art and myself. Michelle, thanks for joining us again. Yeah, great to be here, John and Art. Thanks. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, thanks. So maybe you could help clear something up because, you know, uh, when you go to Dr. Google and uh, uh, these other really wonderful sources, every so often you get uh, something thrown at you that you either want to adopt, uh, like about uh, the aliens that landed three weeks ago and, and only you and I and Dr. Google knew about. But I ran across a term which I absolutely don't understand. Uh, but I understand this is actually a field of study about this stuff called conscious aging. Now, I feel ageless, so it really was a surprise to me that you could... I, I, I know people get old. Some people get old and act old. Uh, but is there such a thing as conscious aging? And, and what's it all about? Yeah, well, uh, yes, there is actually. And, and you know, I, I, I'll kind of give you a little brief def definition that, that I found. Um, so it's a perspective that sees aging as a life stage full of potential for purpose, growth, and service to community, and is a path toward realizing that potential. You mean like what I'm doing? Yeah. What a... <laughs> Maybe you're unconsciously, was... yeah. consciously aging. <laughs> Yeah, what would, so what would be the, I mean, that makes so much sense. What would be the opposite? Well, I, I'm going to go into some different points about it, but basically it's just not really, you know, it's just you you just roll along life, what you've learned about aging. Yeah, that's what happens. You make the jo senior jokes. You kind of, you know, you judge yourself if you're not, you know, looking as long as young as possible. You're, you know, expecting life to continue just as it always has rather than having a more awareness of, wow, how do I want to live my life? What's important to me now um, is, you know, staying young at all costs as much as I can. Is that what I want to be spending my time doing? You know, uh, anyway, all kinds of different things around that, but yeah. Kind of, it, it sounds a little bit like when you get older, you want to celebrate your second act. Celebrating oh. act two, that's what it sounds like to me. What? What a what yeah. a clever what a, what a clever phrase. So tell, you you said you have a bunch of points about consciousness. Yeah, aging. yeah. When I yeah, I'll I'll dive into that. So you know, one of the things that you know that I learned recently about it is that, and it's no surprise really, but there is so much ageism in our culture, and which also means it's in our own minds, right? And so when we see or notice something in our behavior or the way we look or whatever, sometimes we have like amazing harsh judgments against ourselves about that. You know, it's like, oh wow, I'm getting grayer, or I'm losing more hair, and it's like, oh, that's terrible. And it's like, why is it terrible? It, it, it's different than what it was, but we have an evaluation about that, that it's bad. Or maybe a, a person who has some illness and maybe they're not walking as steady as they used to, oh my God, I've gotten so clumsy. You know, this is awful. I'm getting old. Oh, I'm having a senior moment. And, you know, we make all these jokes and it's like, why is that okay for us to treat ourselves harshly or to make jokes about what is a natural course of life? And so it's just, that just kind of was the first thing that kind of blew my mind a little bit because I wasn't really aware of this myself. You know, there's so much pressure to look young and you know, yeah, and there are all these, you know, teenagers, right? You know, teenager, senior teenagers who are, you know, still climbing Mount Everest, maybe, or you know, bodybuilding, and um, you know, who knows? So, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that there comes a point where, you know, maybe you aren't wanting to do those kinds of things. Maybe you want to be resting more and reading or writing, uh, contemplating, um, and, and that's okay too. It's like it's not like going faster is the only way to go in life we can slow down and there's nothing wrong with that. So just to kind of have some perspective about it doesn't have to be just because we're changing doesn't mean we're, it's bad. You know, you know something um, you enlightened me that maybe I'm consciously not aging. Like, well, I'll give you an example. When I was around 50, 
I started asking for the senior discount going into the movie theater. So that was, I guess, consciously aging to some extent. Um, but then on the other hand, uh, I don't, I, I'm always looking to do new things. So am I con consciously not aging? Um, real, kind of interesting. I hadn't even given it any thought other than, I guess, part of the consciousness is you joined AARP. Some of us do. And uh, you um, uh, may start taking advantage of some of those things and saying, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. But I, I almost took the conscious aging that you're talking about is had a negative connotation as opposed to a positive one. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're maybe just, you know, living your life as fully as you always have. And that's a great thing. So it's, I think sometimes people like, oh, when I'm this age, I have to slow down or oh, now I'm, you know, retired or now whatever. It, like, can we just, um, you know, be aware of the changes that are happening and attend to ourselves, but also have, you know, compassion, compassion. And, you know, maybe we have regrets about the past. Can we have compassion about that rather than, you know, holding a grudge or feeling upset about that? Can we forgive ourselves? Can we forgive others? You know, can we basically... I'm really into helping for myself, at least, and clients and people, you know, to grow and to learn and to have more ease and joy and gratitude in life. So can we be more open to what what does life bring when we can't, you know, move as quickly as we used to, or we can't maybe do some of the sports or activities that we used to like to do? You know, there are other things that are available to us still, and maybe we find ourselves slowing down, but like getting more, you know, lit up you know, about other things or how we can join others in causes that we care about. I'm not saying that people don't do this at any stage of life, but there are lots that, that's, that we in the second half of life have to contribute, right? This is kind of what, you know, this, this channel is about, right? So there, there's transformation basically. And it, you know, it doesn't necessarily, like aging doesn't necessarily bring wisdom, but if we can learn from our life experiences, it's even the difficult things like an illness or whatever, then, you know, then we can really um, become wiser and enjoy so, life more, I would say. So, Michelle, I think I think I'm getting this. All right. Um, it sounds like conscious aging is really this balance between accepting the fact that we're getting old and dealing with the, the natural aging process of slowing down or you know, maybe even having to use a walker or whatever it is. Um, but it's also, at the same time, it's the, it's the balancing that with the fact that at any age, 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe even the 90s, you need to have an attitude of growth and happiness and um, kind of the stuff that Celebrating Act 2 is trying to do. We're trying to help you... Um, celebrate uh, the second half of your life, whatever that age might be in the second half of your life. And, and it's, it's different for people in their 60s than it is for people in their 80s, obviously. But we've got, our channel is about sharing information, experts like yourself, plus people with great stories of, uh, of making life interesting and full, no matter what their age. Exactly, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and to look at, you know, what, what brings us meaning, what brings us joy, and, um, you know, what new things do I want to learn? I mean, are, you had already said, you know, you're always looking to learn new things. And, um, right. So, and how can we contribute to others too, right? Sure, sure. It's, it's, not, it's not about ourselves. Life is always about ourselves with other people, our relationship. Not so, just with them, but so society. My, I, my takeaway is that I'm unconsciously using conscious aging in a <laughs> positive way. I'm a good boy. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's interesting. My, my, our, my takeaway is that it's okay to nap on the porch in the afternoon. <laughs> right, right. And, right. I mean, I think that it's, it's kind of this, this acceptance, forgiveness, allowing and, um, you know, yeah, limitations come along with illness and age some, often, right? Eventually they do come along, right? And also another thing, another component to think about is just contemplating our own mortality and to know that, you know, death is a natural part of life. And 
you know, how do we want to die? How do we want to, what would we like that to be? I mean, I, I did a little exercise for myself and was talking to my partner about this, like, wow, what would be a good death for me? And, um, and, and what, is there something that needs to be said that hasn't been said to someone that I'm close to, you know, have we completed conversations that, you know, have we not reached out to someone that we, you know, maybe it was rude too long ago, or I'm not sure we're going to necessarily remember all the, all the different situations, but to just have a noticing that, you know, there is a limit here and um, how can I enjoy the time I have and also accept that, you know, at some point it will be, you know, all of our time. And to not be maybe afraid of that or avoid that topic. Sometimes it can be rich to, um, to, to talk about that and share that with loved ones. Oh, boy. You, you just hit on a uh, very a difficult topic that most people want to invo- uh, avoid at all costs. A, I'm well, going to die. And B, what can I do to prepare for it? Uh, you know, that's before, another conversation. Before, that's Carl Reiner, before Carl Reiner passed away, they did some interviews with him. And... Uh, 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 he basically talked about his daily routine. He used to wake up in the morning, open the newspaper, look at the obituaries. If his name wasn't in it, he'd know to have <laughs> breakfast. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's my planning. Now, that's my that, planning. Yeah. that is conscious aging. Ah, okay. Well, so I think we... I'm, I'm amazed that I'm doing something that I didn't know about. And... Um, Probably doing it fairly well, but for those of, for those who are unconscious, most of the time, I hope that this has awakened you to there are really positive things about embrace embracing your aging, and um, uh, getting the most out of the second half of your life as you celebrate your act too. Wow, did I get yeah. that all in there? You did. Yes, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Michelle, so, this has been great, great information. Who knew that it was a thing? We were doing it already. Now it's a thing with a name on it. I love it. Thanks so much, Michelle. We'll see you again soon. Yeah, great to be here. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.